Have you ever wondered why sound changes when it moves through different materials or spaces? It all has to do with waves, specifically sound waves. A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy from one source to another. Sound waves are vibrations that travel through a medium such as walls, oceans, and air. When an object vibrates, it creates sound waves that travel outward in all directions. When sound waves travel through a medium, they can be absorbed by that medium, like when sound is absorbed by walls in a room. This is why quieter rooms often have soft materials like carpets or curtains. They can also be transferred through the walls. This is why you can sometimes hear the conversation of people in the classroom next to yours where you share a common wall. Sound waves can also reflect off surfaces like walls or mountains and return to your ears. This creates echoes, which you might hear when shouting in a canyon or in a large empty room. Animals like dolphins, whales, and bats use the echoes from sound waves to understand the world around them. They send out high-pitched sounds, and when those sounds hit objects, they reflect back to them. This allows them to figure out the object's distance, direction, speed, and size. We also use a form of echolocation called sonar to turn sound waves into visible objects. In large empty rooms, sound waves can sometimes bounce around and create a reverberation effect, distorting the original sound. This is known as diffraction. How loud or high a sound is depends on its pitch and volume. Pitch refers to how high or low a sound is and depends on the wave's frequency or number of waves that occur in one second. A higher frequency creates a higher pitch, while a lower frequency creates a lower pitch. And volume refers to how loud a sound is and it's dependent upon the wave's amplitude, strength, or intensity of a sound wave. The larger the amplitude is, the louder the sound is. So sound waves can be transmitted, absorbed, and reflected by matter. And the sound's pitch and volume is dependent upon the sound wave's frequency and amplitude.